To sort an array numbers like this, we can build a simple quicksort algorithm in Python. We first create a quicksort function where we pass this array to. Then we add a check if the array has zero or one element. If so, it's already sorted. If not, we grab the value at the middle index or mid item of the array, called pivot, by dividing the length of the array in half. Then we grab the left part, the middle and the right part of the array to operate the sort function on. For left, we use the list comprehension and say, add every item x of the array to the list when it's smaller than the pivot. Then we grab all items in the array that equals the pivot handling the situation of duplicates, and last the right part using list comprehension on all items x that are bigger as the pivot value. Ok, and now let's sort this. This part might be a bit tricky, but let me explain. We now return the value of the quick sort on the left part, at the middle and the quick sort of the right part. Since we recursively calling the quick sort in the quick sort function, we break the array in left smaller values and right higher values and combine it back until it's sorted. We break this recursive call when the condition if len of array bigger or equal 1 get triggered. Let me explain this with a simple example. Let's say we have an array 3, 1 and 2. The pivo in the middle equals 1. The left gets no values cause there is none smaller than 1 and the right part gets 3 and 2. In the return we now run the quick sort on 3 and 2 again, which leads to mid 2 and right 3. When we bring this back, we get 1, 2 and 3 in order. Let me know if you understood this. If not, I will try to explain it in depth in the comments. Let's run this in the print statement to visualize the quick sorted array. And voila, we are ready to go. A nice and simple sorted array handling negative and double numbers.